So in this video, we're going to find a limit. This one's a little bit harder. It has an n factorial in the numerator and an n to the n in the denominator. So uh, what's happening here is we're going to let n go to infinity, and we're asking ourselves what happens to the terms of the sequence. Well, if you, if you think about it like this, n factorial over n to the n, right? What, what is n factorial? n factorial is n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times dot, 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 times 3, 2, 1. Well, what's n, n to the n? n to the n is n times n times n times dot, 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 times n times n times n. So obviously what goes faster? The bottom, right? The bottom is, look, n, n. n is bigger than n minus 1. n is bigger than n minus 2. n is bigger than all of these guys. n is bigger than 3, n is bigger than 2, n is bigger than 1. So the bottom is obviously going to grow faster than the top as n approaches infinity. So this here approaches 0 as n approaches infinity. So in this case, there is a limit, and the limit is 0 because n to the n grows faster than n factorial. I hope that made sense.